Are you stuck, confused, and don't know what to do with Shiba Swap, with Shiba Inu ecosystem? You ran Shiba Swap, you saw some things, and you're not sure exactly where to start. Well, this video, I'm going to give you five things to think about and to work on if you stuck, confused, and you just don't know what to do. My name is Adam Shelton, and thank you for watching this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're stuck and confused, I definitely understand that. And the thing about it is when you're not necessarily educated or don't have a plan or a budget, then you're going to be all over the place. So here's the things that I would look out for. The first thing to do, let's get educated, educated. And that's with the read the wolf paper V2. Now this wolf paper does have everything that the Shiba swap provides. And when you look this over, it will start to make a sense a little bit. I looked this over very, very carefully because I wasn't sure what Shiba was in the beginning. I invested into Shiba like earlier this year without really understanding Shiba. But once, but once things got closer until the Shiba swap, I really started to get educated on what the Shiba swap does and some of the benefits and advantages of this. And also, I needed something to go by where I can reference back to if I literally had a question about. So the first thing is to get educated with Shiba and the Shiba swap and the white in the white paper is a good place to start. You come right to their website at shibatoken.com and you can click on read wolf paper V2. So that's an excellent place to start. The second thing I would suggest is, is though, is to get a some type of a plan. Now, all this is not necessary financial advice. This is some something I would do and it's helped me throughout the process. Second thing is, is get a plan. What is your plan? Like, what is your goal when you invest into Shiba or any type of investment? For prime example, you may have a daily, weekly, a monthly goal. Just don't say a million dollars. That's something where, yes, it could be a good long-term goal, but you have to work up to that as well. Could something help you get to that goal? Sure it can. Not financial advice, but if you put the education and a good plan together, then that will help you. So prime example, my one of my plans, you see the profit loss here, 745. By the end of this week, I want that to be moved to at least $1,000. That's just a kind of a weekly plan. And this is kind of where my a plan is that I set a goal just earlier this morning. I said, you know what? My goal is to push that to $1,000. That means I'm going to do more research and I may have to invest a little bit more in terms of my time and do some things that's going to really help. Maybe add another pair to really, you know, maybe add additional pairing to my actual portfolio to push that price up to where I would like it to be. So that was an example of a plan. I want to put the profit loss to $1,000. So think about a plan. Number three is get a budget get a, some type of a budget. So prime example, as you look here, if you have a only a $300 budget this month, right? So if you decide to invest into Shiba, you can say, okay, $200 could be for actually Shiba itself. Maybe $65 is for fees. And then the rest of it is for something, you know, that comes up that you may want to get if the price goes down. Making an example, but get a budget that you can stick with on a weekly or even monthly basis and always budget for the fees. So that's number three, budget for the fees along with your plan when you invest into Shiba. If you're brand new to this space and if you're not really sure where to go, you got to have some type of a budget. That way you're not freaking out of the fees. So prime example, if I come here and if I'm trying to swap something, even if I'm trying to swap Shiba, I know fees are going to be involved into this. So in my mind, I already have that covered in my opinion. I already have a cover of the fees and everything like that. So I'm already thinking, okay, fees gonna be involved in it. You see that fees is right there. This is the meta mask that's basically reading the information from to your top right corner. So my mindset is that I know fees are gonna be a part of this, at least for right now, until things are adjusted where maybe the fees may not be as much in the future. But Still, you need to budget for fees and budget for the actually asset itself and then have a plan what you want to do with the next. And that leads me to number four. Start somewhere. Don't be all over the place. Now, the Shiba swap, there's a lot to cover, but just take one thing. 
just do one thing so the prime example let's say you swapped and you got some sheep you got about 50 million shivas which is not really that much money really to be honest with you and that's what makes shiba the shiba ecosystem really good and affordable because it does it doesn't take much to really get things going so prime example if i swapped and get some shiba about 50 million of it in the shiba area make sure you connect it with one of the wallets just choose one wallet matter of fact choose one wallet if that's metamask wallet connect or coinbase wallet just choose one wallet just choose one wallet that you need to know and then from there just swap it and then that you done that's that is a good start hey i got 50 million sheep what can i do with the next well one of the obvious things to do was to bury and the bury is just like it says here bury sheep just like that and then from there you can bury your sheep from here so start somewhere it's number four number five is is to basically have fun take your time and to be patient and one thing i would say also adding with that find somebody you can adapt with that's basically online so a content creator somebody on twitter somebody that can really break the information down for you that you can really understand it now it's not necessary financial advice because we can't give financial advice but we can actually give things that we would do i would do some examples this is what i would do when i first begin so number five is have fun Take your time, have some patience in understanding that this can be an unbelievable opportunity if you're willing to put the work into it. So that's number five. And a sixth bonus to me, to me, this is my opinion, always be adding to your portfolio. I'm telling you because you never know what's going to happen. So right now, number six is always be adding, always be learning, always be adding, always be learning because Sheba right now, in my opinion, and the recording of this video is on sale. It's very, very on sale right now. So I'm like, man, Sheba's only that much right now. So then for me and Bone, it's only $3.41. In my opinion, that's very affordable. I can get a couple of pieces of Bone, get a couple of pieces of Bone for $3. And think about it, for $50, I can get quite a bit of Bone for that. So let's say $50 times $3.41 equals, I mean, I can get some bone with that. I can get quite a bit with that. So let's see, $50 times three. So $50 times three. Yeah, so I can get quite a bit of bone with that. So what I'm saying is, or a decent amount of bone, I should say a decent amount of bone. So what I'm saying is, is that always be adding and always be learning. Always be learning what the next step is in the process and also familiarize yourself with some of this. Don't go so fast. Take your time. Take your time, ask questions, and then just be aware of that. Yes, invest to what you can afford. That is another bonus. That's bonus number two. Invest in what you can afford to lose. Now, this is a risk. This is a chance. Obviously, it could be very, very beneficial to you. But at the same time, you need to be aware that you need to invest what you're afraid when you are invest in what you or what could lose. Excuse me. <coughs> invest into what you are prepared to lose that's what i'm trying to say so but have the mindset of where you know what i'm going to learn myself i'm going to educate myself i'm going to have a plan i'm going to have a budget i'm going to start somewhere i'm not going to be all over the place i'm just going to start the swap area and then go to bury that be all that may be that may be good enough for now and number five is have fun you know like keep learning keep achieving you know, um, always be adding to your bag, you know, stay humble, all those type of things and invest um, and only invest on what you prepare to lose. Those are a couple of things there that's really helped me all out. This video is really about just trying to prepare and try to help you every step of the way when this process and um, other videos, of course, I'll definitely help you with the Shiba Swap tutorial and what I can do to help you to get to the next level or just to get to your to your weekly goal, your monthly goal, your daily goal or even your yearly goal. Okay, my name is Adam Shelton. Thank you for watching this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to click on the links below to get started with anything that I have in the description box, and I'll see you around. Have a good time.